Welcome back, nail crew. So remember two weeks ago when I filled my nails with regular gel polish and some acrylic powder? Well, today I'm going to let you know if it lasted. Okay, ladies, so it's been two weeks since I filled my nails with the gel polish and the acrylic. And today I wanted to do a soak off and then a poly gel tutorial. But me and Jaden have plans and I don't have time to soak these nails off. So instead, I decided to show you guys what these nails look like at two weeks. As you can tell, the gel polish and acrylic method was very, very successful. There is no lifting, there is no peeling, there is no cracking. Now, my cuticles look a hot mess. They are so dry right now. I'm gonna take care of that in a second. You'll see how I take care of my cuticles. But I just wanted to show you guys a close up of the nails, how they grew out. Even on my, my right hand, which I had to do with my non-dominant hand, they still lasted very well. I'm pushing back my cuticles so that you guys can just get a better look. I'm showing you a close up. I mean, don't really pay attention to my dry cuticles. Pay attention to the growth line and how well the, the method really performed. Now this nail, I broke my thumb because I was loading clothes in a front loading washing machine and when I closed the, the door to the washing machine, my nail just got caught in the door some kind of way and flipped off. All right, so this is how I'm gonna take care of my cuticles. I have some Sally Hansen cuticle remover and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that to each of my cuticles. I'm gonna let that sit for a couple seconds. Just rub that in and let it sit. And once I feel like it has had enough time to start working and softening my cuticles, I am going to push back my cuticles with a cuticle pusher. You'll see me do that in just a little bit. So I'm just pushing back my cuticles, just getting them out the way because like I said, I am going out with Jaden and since I don't have time to fill my nails or soak them off and redo them, I do kind of want my hands to look presentable. So, you know, this is just something I can do so that my nails don't look horrible while we're out at this little concert. I'm just pushing back all my cuticles and then I'm going to take a cuticle nipper and remove all the dead skin. All right, so here's my cuticle nipper. I'm just gonna use this to get rid of all the extra cuticle and dead skin that was left over from the Sally Henson cuticle remover. And I'm just being very gentle, just going around my cuticles and just removing all the dead skin, like I said before. And this will just make my cuticles look a little bit better than they did initially. Now, one thing I do want to mention, if you are a beginner doing nails, you might want to skip the cuticle nippers because they are very sharp. And if you go too fast or too hard, you will start to bleed, okay? And then once you shed blood, you have to stop, wash your hands, put disinfectant. So just be very careful. Once I'm done using the cuticle nippers, I wash my hands to get rid of all the excess dust and dead skin. And then, of course, I apply my homemade DIY cuticle oil. This is my favorite cuticle oil. And I do plan on making a video on how I made this one day, so just stay tuned for that. But I just go ahead and rub that into my cuticles, soften them up a little bit more, and it just transforms my hands and just makes them look 100% better. All right, so now I'm just showing you guys a little bit of a, a close-up again now that I've removed all the extra skin and softened up my cuticles and moistened them as well. How well they look now as opposed to before. Still, there is no lifting, no peeling, no cracking. After two weeks, they still look amazing aside from that thumb that I broke in the washing machine. Disregard that thumb. But all the rest of the nails still look amazing. And now I know a lot of you are still skeptical about filling your acrylic nails with gel polish and acrylic powder. But as you can tell, it worked very well. So if you're in a bind or a pinch and can't get to the nail salon, pull out your gel polish and some acrylic powder and give this a try. Now, personally, I love this method and I will definitely do it again. But comment below, let me know if you've tried it, how well it worked for you, or if you just hate this method and think that it just is just not worth it. All right, either way, thumbs up or thumbs down. Let me know what you think.
And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Now, remember when I said I couldn't do my nails because Jaden and I had plans, right? Well, I captured a few scenes from our little night out at the concert in the park. So stay tuned if you want to see how that went. to an outside concert and not have, not have a funnel cake. Like I'm not even hungry, I ate before I came. But I have to have. Hey, you know this? You know this jam? Hey, 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 hey. Uh, what? 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 I'm embarrassing you? <laughs> Baby, look at her, don't look at me. God need to work on your prayer. <laughs> Won't he do it? Now the first we announcement we will be having a stanky breath contest. Oh yes. Who told you? Contestants will blow their breath in the judge. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at that face. She's so beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> Always eating this one. Always eating this one. Party, a 90s concert. 
and she out here with the grown folks. Out here with the grown folks. 